Today we are going to figure feed rations. To calculate feed rations using Pearson's square, we're going to go through a series of steps that involve math. So get out a sheet of paper and follow along with me working through a problem and then I'll give you some sample problems to work. We start with drawing a square. Next, we pick our two feed ingredients. Most of the time these are going to be grains or maybe a grain and a supplement of some sort. So we're going to start making this simple. We're going to go with corn and we're going to go with a commercial supplement, something that has been made by a grain manufacturer. Or I guess you would call it a feed manufacturer. Corn generally has around 9% protein, so we're going to put the amount of protein to the left of the square. We're going to say that this protein supplement has 40% protein in it. This would be something you'd find on the label, or because corn doesn't necessarily have a label, you would find from whoever you purchase it from, or go on the averages, which is why I'm using 9 Inside of the square, we are going to put whatever the animal needs. So in my example, we're going to say that this animal needs 12% protein in their diet. So this means that every time that you feed them, you want them to have a diet that has 12% protein. Now from this point, we have to go through some steps. So I'm going to change pin colors to hopefully make it as clear as I can for you. We are going to subtract, finding the difference between the middle number and the number to the left, but we are going to do so diagonally, so follow the arrows. So 9 minus 12, that equals 3. But it's a negative 3 because I took 9 minus 12. In this case, we are dealing with whole numbers, so we are going to ignore the negative if it helps, work the problem backwards, 12 minus 3. We then get, or I'm sorry, 12 ni minus 9. 40 minus 12 equals 28. We've just successfully done step 2. Our next step involves addition. We are going to add these two numbers together, so 28 plus 3 equals 31. We're going to use this number to divide each of our above numbers by. Once we get ready to divide these numbers, you can use your calculator using your Chromebook if you need. I don't expect you to be able to do this in your head. So 28 divided by 31 is 0 0.90, and we're going to go to the third decimal point, place, so 0 0.903. On my calculator, you can see that the next number after the 3 is a 2, so we do not round up. We keep it at 3. Our next number is 3 divided by 31, and we get 0 .0967. In this case, the 7 tells the 6 to round up because the 7 is above 5. So we go to write down 0 At this point, we need to figure out how much feed we are going to mix. And of that mix, how much each foodstuff should be. So at this point, if this was one pound of mix, we would put in 0 0.903 pounds and 0 0.097 pounds. But we're going to usually not mix one pound. 
we're going to mix 50 pounds or 100 pounds. So to make our first one simple, let's take it times 100 pounds. To do, when you have 100, you can just simply move your decimal place two spots. You get 90.3, and we're going to label pounds and 9.7 pounds. Now I just have to figure out which is which. Well, is this corn or is this supplement? Even though we crossed here in the box, the labels that we started at the top end at the top. If you think about that rationally, how likely would it be that you would put 90 pounds of supplement and only nine pounds of grain? That wouldn't be logical. When we get to this point, we circle our answer. And that's what we would mix for 100 pounds. If I was only doing 50 pounds, instead of multiplying by 100, I would multiply by 50. Now it's your turn. You're going to go to the problem that is next on the sheet, which is practice number one in my PowerPoint. You are going to use alfalfa hay, which has 30% protein, oats, which has 13.6% protein. We want our animal to have 14% protein in their diet. And lastly, we need to know how much you're mixing. We're going to keep it at 100 pounds. Now, calculate how much alfalfa hay and how much oats are needed in the same fashion we did up here. 